The thylacine, Thylacinocinocephalus, is an extinct carnivorous marsupial that was native to the Australian mainland and the islands of Tasmania and New Guinea. The last known live animal was captured in 1930 in Tasmania. It is commonly known as the Tasmanian tiger because of its striped lower back or the Tasmanian wolf because of its canid-like characteristics. The thylacine was relatively shy and nocturnal, with the general appearance of a medium to large size canid, except for its stiff tail and abdominal pouch similar to that of a kangaroo. Because of convergent evolution, it displayed an anatomy and adaptation similar to the tiger, panthera tigris, and wolf, canis lupus, of the northern hemisphere. Such as dark transverse stripes that radiated from the top of its back. And a skull shape extremely similar to those of canids, despite being unrelated. The thylacine was a formidable apex predator, though exactly how large its prey animals were is disputed. Its closest living relatives are the other members of Dysuromorphia, including the Tasmanian devil and quolls. The thylacine was one of only two marsupials known to have a pouch in both sexes, the other, still extant, species is the water opossum from Central and South America. The pouch of the male thylacine served as a protective sheath, covering the external reproductive organs. Descriptions of the thylacine come from preserved specimens, fossil records, skins and skeletal remains, and black and white photographs and film of the animal both in captivity and from the field. The thylacine resembled a large, short-haired dog with a stiff tail which smoothly extended from the body in a way similar to that of a kangaroo. The mature thylacine ranged from 100 to 130 centimeters long, plus a tail of around 50 to 65 centimeters. Adults stood about 60 centimeters at the shoulder and on average weighed 12 to 22 kilograms, though they could range anywhere from 8 to 30 kilograms. There was slight sexual dimorphism with the males being larger than females on average. Males weighed in at around 19.7 kilograms and females weighed in at around 13.7 kilograms. The skull is noted to be highly convergent on those of canids, most closely resembling that of the red fox. The thylacine was able to open its jaws to an unusual extent, up to 80 degrees. This capability can be seen in part in David Flea's short black and white film sequence of a captive thylacine from 1933. The jaws were muscular and had 46 teeth, but studies show the thylacine jaw was too weak to kill sheep. The tail vertebrae were fused to a degree, with resulting restriction of full tail movement. The thylacine was exclusively carnivorous. In captivity, thylacines had a clear preference for birds. In the wild, large ground-dwelling birds, such as Tasmanian nativihens, may have been their primary prey. Since they are documented to have hunted a wide range of them. And its comparatively moderate bite force was more suited to hollow avian bones. During its peak occupation of the mainland. Such prey would have been bountiful. And studies of their Pleistocene habitat points to a more suitable diet consisting of a range of megapodes, such as the giant mallifowl, ratites, such as the emu, and possibly dromornithids, most of which went extinct prior to European settlement.